In this segment, we will demonstrate how to perform a basic manicure. The basic manicure is the foundation of all other nail services that you'll perform. So you must practice the procedure to the point of mastery. A manicure includes trimming, shaping and buffing the fingernails, pushing back the cuticles, massaging the hands and arms, and polishing the nails. In preparation for the basic manicure, follow the pre-service procedure steps. You will want to start the manicure with clean nails, so remove the client's nail polish first. Use a cotton ball, gauze pad, or plastic-backed cotton pad to do this. Apply enough nail polish remover to saturate the cotton ball, then start with the little finger of the client's left hand and use a confident, firm touch to remove the polish. Hold the saturated cotton ball against the fingernail and slowly count to 10. After that, the old polish should come off easily. Use a stroking motion from the cuticle area to the free edge to avoid getting polish on the skin. Keep this up until all traces of the old polish are gone. Remember that complete polish removal is very important to client satisfaction. Carefully check the nail fold area for any remnants of the old polish. If needed, Wrap cotton around the tip of a wooden pusher to remove these last traces of polish. After every bit of polish has been removed, closely examine the nails for any abnormalities that might have been hiding under the polish. Now use a medium 180 to 240 grit abrasive to shape the nails as you and the client agreed during her consultation. File the left hand from the little finger to the thumb, holding the finger you're working on between your thumb and index finger. File from one side to the center of the free edge, then from the other side to the center of the free edge. Never use a sawing back and forth motion to file the natural nail, as this can disrupt the nail plate layers and cause splitting and peeling. Now that you're done filing the left hand, you want to let it soak while you're working on the right hand. Soaking the fingertips will soften the epinicium, the living skin on the posterior and sides of the nail, and the cuticle, which is the dead tissue that's adhered to the nail plate. Soaking the fingertips makes the cuticle easier to remove. File the right hand nails the same as you did the left, from the little finger to the thumb. After you file the right hand, remove the left hand from the finger bowl and brush the fingertips with a wet nail brush to remove any debris. Brush with downward strokes from the first knuckle to the free edge. Dry the client's hand with her designated service towel gently pushing back the epinicium with the towel as you dry. Now place the right hand into the finger bowl to soak while you continue with the next step on the left hand. Apply cuticle remover to the cuticle on each nail plate using a cotton-tipped wooden pusher. Be extremely careful not to get any product on the living skin. Cuticle removers soften the skin by dissolving skin cells, so they shouldn't be applied to living skin. Most removers are caustic, meaning they have a high pH, so they can dry or irritate the skin. It's very important to keep your hands stable when you're applying the cuticle remover to avoid getting any of it on the living skin. Stabilize your working hand by balancing your pinky fingers together as a fulcrum. Place the pinky finger of your hand that's holding the pusher on the pinky finger of the hand that is holding the client's finger. To avoid cross-contamination, be sure to apply cuticle remover from a clean and sterile palette. Leave the cuticle remover on the nail for as long as the manufacturer recommends. After that, the cuticle should easily come off. Take your wooden pusher or the inside curve of a metal pusher and gently push and lift the cuticle tissue from each nail plate of the left hand. Use sharp nippers to remove any hangnails, which are loosely hanging tags of dead skin. Never rip or tear cuticle tags from the living skin because this may lead to infection. Brush the left hand with a nail brush again to remove any bits of debris and traces of cuticle remover. Make sure all traces of cuticle remover are washed from the skin. Any product remnants can cause dryness or irritation. Once this is done, have the client rest her left hand on the table towel. Carefully clean under the free edge with a cotton swab or cotton-tipped wooden pusher. Be very gentle in this area. Aggressive cleaning can break the hyponychium seal under the free edge and cause onycholysis. Repeat steps 4 through 10 on the right hand. If the client's nails are yellow, Bleach them with a specially designed nail bleach product. 
Put on gloves if not wearing them already and apply bleaching agent to the yellowed nail with a cotton-tipped orangewood stick. Be very careful not to get any bleach on the client's skin as it may cause irritation. Repeat the application if the nails are extremely yellow. In some cases, it may not be possible to remove all of the yellow stain or discoloration in a single session. You may need to schedule certain clients a series of manicures where the nails can be bleached several times to remove all staining. Be honest with your client about the severity of her nail discoloration so she's not disappointed with your work. Let her know that it may take several treatments to address the problem. The effectiveness of the bleach treatment depends also on the depth of the stain. Nail bleach products are designed to remove surface stains, such as those caused by tobacco. Nail bleaches can't remove yellow discoloration that has penetrated deep into the nail plate, but they may be able to improve them. Wash the hands when finished. Now it's time to buff the nails. You will use a three-way buffer if you are planning to end the basic manicure by applying polish. If the client will not wear polish, use a four-way buffer to bring nails to a brilliant shine. Buffing will smooth out any surface scratches and give the natural nail a smooth appearance. Next, apply nail oil to the nail plate with a cotton-tipped wooden pusher, a cotton swab, or an eyedropper. Start with a little finger on the left hand and massage the oil into the nail plate and the surrounding skin using a circular motion. Next, evaluate your work and make any necessary adjustments. If needed, bevel the underside of the nail to remove any rough spots or cuticle particles from the free edge. Hold a medium grit abrasive or buffer at a 45 degree angle to the underside of the nail and file with a gentle side to side stroke. Apply massage lotion or oil to the client's hands and perform a hand and arm massage. For step-by-step -step instructions, watch the hand and arm massage segment. After completing the massage, remove all traces of the lotion and oil from the nail plate. Using a lint-free wipe saturated with alcohol, acetone, or polish remover, scrub the nail plate as though you were trying to remove a stubborn red nail polish. Don't forget to clean under the free edge of the nail plate. This is an important step in preparing the nail for polish. The cleaner you get the nail plate and surrounding tissues, the better your polish will adhere. So it's really important to be thorough here. Usually your client will choose her polish color before or during her consultation, but if not, ask her to choose a color now. Finally, polish the nails and present the finished look to your client. For detailed instructions on how to polish the nails, please watch the Polishing the Nails segment now, follow your post-service procedure.